Good morning and welcome. My name is Reverend Gilbraham Jr. and I'm one of the associate ministers here at Ebenezer Baptist Church. And once again, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our online worship experience. Certainly want to say happy 4th of July uh, to each and every one of you and we trust and pray that you have a, a safe and a happy holiday. I have the pleasure of introducing our pastor, Pastor Gilbert S. Ham Sr. We're going to be sharing a powerful message this morning. Just one word, fight. I know you're going to enjoy the message, so you want to go ahead and grab a friend, grab a co-worker, grab a family member, and let them know that Ebenezer is about to get started. Well, you know what time it is. Let's go.
Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Welcome back. I truly hope that you were blessed and you were encouraged by that selection from our mail course. And we've come back to just invite you to partner with us to help us to continue to spread the word of God. On the screen, you'll see how you can partner with us and sow a seed into the ministry, particularly if this ministry is being a blessing to you and being a blessing to your family. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your prayers and your financial support. God bless.
leader, Minister Joyce Hale, Reverend Dr. Sarah L. Brown, Reverend Gibbon S. M. Jr., to our chairman, our Deacon Marion Brown, Chairman Trustee John McQueen, to our official staff, First Lady, Mrs. Viola Ham, and to the Ebenezer Baptist Church family. To those of you who can, will you please stand for the reading of God's word. I invite your prayerful meditation to 1 Timothy chapter 6 and the first portion of verse 12. 1 Timothy chapter 6 and the first portion of verse 12. If you have it, say amen. Fight the good fight of faith. You may be seated. Seal this message in our hearts, for I ask it in your name. Amen. Fight the good fight of faith. Subject is one word, fight, fight. This morning, I think it's important 
that we deal with this subject matter because it seems as if the saints have stopped fighting. It seems as if many have thrown in the towel. It seems as if many have abandoned the cause. It seems as if many have taken off the armor, laid down their spiritual weaponry, cease to take a stand for what's right, and have simply given up, given in, and quit. Many in the church are no longer pulling on the whole armor of God. We have not undergirded our waist, our waist with truth. We have taken off the breastplate of righteousness. Our feet are no longer shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Our faith has been weakened, wounded, and made weary by the fiery darts of Satan's forces simply because we don't read our Bibles much. We don't pray much. Much prayer, much power. Little prayer, little power. No prayer, no power. And you know, church, not only we don't pray much, but we don't fortify ourselves much with the fellowship of the saints. And the boldness of our testimony has been voluntarily silenced. I think it's important we be reminded of how critical it is that we fight. For nothing comes easy. And all that is of value is worth a fight. Look at somebody, if you please, and say, fight. Fight. The good fight of faith. Now, now, faith is the target. It is our faith the enemy wants. It is our faith that Satan wants. If he can dislodge our faith, more specifically, our faith in God, then the enemy can gain victory in our lives. Tell your neighbor again, fight. Fight. Pray with me, if you please. Now, the writer of our text is the Apostle Paul. And this text is a part of the first letter of which he writes to the individual that, is, that it is named after. 
in it as well as in his second letter to Timothy, Paul seeks to pass on some vital words of information and inspiration, encouragement, and edification. He does this because Paul knows that his time of life and ministry will draw into a close and his work for Christ was near its end. And with death imminent, he desires to sow some last minute spiritual seed of wisdom, experience, knowledge, and understanding into his son in the faith in hopes of strengthening young Timothy and the church of Ephesus during critical times of persecution and opposition. Now upon his departure from physical life, Paul wanted Timothy and the congregation of his pastorate to survive and strive. Thus he imparts into them words intended to give them confidence and boldness in the difficult days awaiting them. Paul knew that living the Christian life and doing Christian ministry has turbulent seasons. And he wanted to motivate and stimulate Timothy to hold on and to maintain and to stand his ground and to fight. No matter how you try, you can't get around this fight. You see, my brothers and sisters, sometimes it's a fight doing the work of the kingdom. Sometimes it's a fight spreading the message of Jesus Christ. Sometimes it's a fight living the Christian life. And sometimes it's challenging, frustrating, difficult, and demanding. But look at your neighbor and tell them it's worth it. It's worth it. As Paul instructs Timothy, fight the good fight of faith. Pray with me, if you please. Now, not wanting Timothy to be cut off to be caught off guard and ill-equipped. Paul caution, cautions and advises Timothy to prepare and arm himself to do battle against anything or anybody that will stand in this way of laying hold of the prize of eternal life. He says to Timothy, fight, fight, fight. He encourages Timothy to fight. He provokes Timothy to fight. 
And Paul gives Timothy the ammunition necessary not only to fight, but to win. Now the word fight comes from a Greek word which means to struggle or to survive. Survive or to wrestle with and to make every effort to overcome and defeat. This type of endeavor calls for some demanding mental and physical effort. And the calls for, a, for an element of tenacity, perseverance, determination, and willpower. It beckons the fighter to be diligent and persistent and resolve to the end. As a matter of fact, in one sense, it signals the fighter to be somewhat stubborn and steadfast as well as inflexible and unmovable. This is my brothers and sisters. In fighting the fight that we're involved in, you got to be unwavering and dogmatic with a made up mind that you're coming out a winner no matter the price or difficulty, or obstacle, or circumstance. Despite the opposition, you cannot quit. You cannot give up. You cannot falter or faint. The race is not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. You must endure until the end. If you don't mind, tell your neighbor, you can't quit. You can't go down without a fight. You cannot surrender. You cannot give in. You cannot lay down your arms or retreat to the border. Tell your neighbor, put on the whole armor of God and fight. Oh, I wish I had some help in here. Fight for your family. Fight for your marriage. Fight for your children. Fight for your survival. As a soldier in the army of the Lord, you got to be willing to wage war and to attack and to stand up and dress up and fight the good fight of faith. Learn how, somebody say learn how. Learn how to take a licking and keep on ticking. Paul says, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, 
but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Listen, it's not over until God says it's over. Did you hear what I said? It's not over until God says it's over. If you don't mind, just one more time, tell your neighbor, fight. Fight. I know it's not easy. Sometimes keeping the faith and being faithful, as I said, is not easy. For any time you decide to walk in faith, and to live by faith, a fight develops. The enemy comes in like a flood. And he's not a fair fighter. No, no, listen. By any means necessary, Satan and his demonic forces attempts to overthrow your faith and to engage you in battle. Oh Lord, he will attack your finances. Oh Lord, he will assault your home environment. Oh Lord, he will attack your health. Oh Lord, he will possess your body in an attempt to cripple your faith. Oh Lord, the Bible says, neighbor, hold on to your faith. Oh Lord, the Bible says, whatsoever is born of God. God overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith oh Lord hold on to your faith don't let it go no no don't turn it loose no no don't give up don't give it up no no don't don't surrender your faith. No, no. Your faith is worth the fight. Do I have any worshipers in here? The Bible said, weeping may implore for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Oh, Lord, listen. The devil wants you to doubt God. Yeah. The devil wants you to give up yeah the devil wants you to throw in the towel yeah the devil wants your faith tell your neighbor again hold on to your faith do I have any worshipers in here I know it gets rough sometimes and the going gets tough sometimes but don't you dare give up the fight no no your faith is worth fighting for it's worth some battle scarred it's worth some combat wounds it's worth some knockdowns and some drag outs oh lord and some setbacks and disappointments do I have any worshipers in here it's worth being lying on oh lord it's worth being talked about oh lord it's worth being mistreated oh lord it's worth being misunderstood Oh Lord, it's worth letting go and letting God stand firm in your faith. The word says, be not weary 
in well doing for in due season ye shall reap if you faint not turn to your neighbor and say neighbor your due season is on the way do I have any help in here tell another neighbor neighbor your due season is on the way do I have any help in here but I don't know about you but I'm going on to see what the end is going to be the end is worth fighting I have not seen and ear have not heard but God has revealed them unto us by his spirit oh Lord listen God's got something in store for every believer of the favor but you can't fight unprepared and you can't fight in your birthday suit no no you must suit up with the helmet of salvation and the breastplate of righteousness and the belt of truth and the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit the word is the sword is the word of God tell your neighbor suit up oh Lord I said tell your neighbor suit up you see the fight is spiritual do I have any help in here I said the fight is spiritual you got to suit up the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities don't take me up there and powers and against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places listen Ebenezer, you cannot fight a spiritual fight with guns and knives or with profanity and your fist. Oh Lord, the Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God through the pulling down of stronghold. Tell your neighbor, dress up and fight. Yeah, I said, tell your neighbor, dress up and fight. You see, if God be for us, who can be against us? Do I have any help in here? Listen, Ebenezer, the fight is a fixed fight. We're on the winning team. We're more than conquerors. Nothing that is formed against us shall prosper. Tell your neighbor, don't back down. No, no. Don't back up. No, no. But hold your ground and fight. The victory is assured. It was stamped guaranteed over 2,000 years ago when Jesus was wounded for our transgression and bruised for our iniquities. He suffered when he suffered in our place and when he died for I sinned and rose from the dead. Tell your neighbor the victory is assured. Oh Lord, tell your neighbor fight. Oh Lord, tell your neighbor put the gloves on. Oh Lord, get ready for the bell to sound. And when the bell sounds, give it all that you got. Oh, Lord, neighbor Ebenezer, it's time to fight. Do I have any help in here? Where are my fighters? Do I have any fighters in here? Where are my fighters? Is there a David in the house? Is there a Peter in the house? Is there a Gillian in the house? Is there a Deborah in the house? It's time to load up and take back everything the enemy stole. Do I have any help in here? Keep fighting. Oh, Lord. Turn to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, keep fighting. Keep pressing on. Lay hold of eternal life. Oh, Lord. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold of eternal life. Do I have any amens in here?
keep fighting. Keep pressing. Keep believing. And never give up. You see, winners never quit. And quitters never win. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Can the church say amen? Everyone standing who can. We're going to extend the invitation. Someone present, maybe out of the ark of safety. We're giving you this opportunity to come to Jesus. And you can come to him just as you are. Songwriter said, I came to Jesus just as I was. Weary, worn, and sad. But I found in him a resting place. And he has made me glad. Is there one who will come? Give me your hand and give God your heart. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Shall we pray? Yeah. Our Father and our God, it's once again that you've allowed your children yes. to assemble in your house of worship. It's once again, Lord, that you kept us to see another Sunday. The first Sunday in July of 2023. Yes, sir. Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to see this new month in this year. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for how you blessed and how you kept us uh, throughout the month of June now. Yes. And then, Lord, here we are in a new month. Thank you. Heavenly Father, we are anticipating your new blessings, oh, Heavenly Father. We come, Heavenly Father, giving you a free thanksgiving of praise. Because yes. we know, Lord, that whatever we go through, Heavenly Father, through it all, you're going to bring us through. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for this day, Lord. Another chance. Uh, just another chance to say thank you. Another thank you, chance to praise your name, Lord. 
We ask now, Lord, that you look down upon this, the Ebenezer Baptist Church. Continue to bless, oh, Heavenly Father, not the name, but the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Oh, Heavenly Father, as we stand in this community, Heavenly Father, let us be a bright light, oh, Heavenly Father, shining in this neighborhood. Yes. Heavenly Father, as we go out these consecrated walls, Heavenly Father, let us not keep the word in us, but let oh. us go out and share the word that we've heard yes. with our brothers and sisters. Heavenly Father, let us, Heavenly Father, walk, oh, Heavenly Father, so they may see you a, your illumination in us. Oh, Heavenly Father, continue to order our steps, Lord, as we continue to walk daily, oh, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we walk by faith, oh, Heavenly Father, oh, yes. and not by sight. Oh, Heavenly Father, we pray in the name of Jesus uh, that we just keep the faith this morning, Lord. No matter what we come up against, Heavenly Father, we keep the faith, Lord. Uh, Heavenly Father, sometimes, sometimes, Lord, we grow weary. Well, Heavenly Father, oh, yeah. we grow weary, Lord, uh, but we know we just hold on to your unchanging hands, Lord, yes. uh, and keep the faith, oh, Heavenly Father. Everything is going to be over. Everything. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, because you open doors that no man can open. You close doors that no man can close. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, because you're a way maker, oh, Heavenly Father. Yes. We thank you, oh, gracious Heavenly Father, because you heal our broken bodies, oh, Heavenly Father. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father, the doctors give us a medicine, Heavenly Father, but you are the great physician. Oh, and we yes. thank you for your healing right now in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, for everyone, Heavenly Father, this congregation right now. Whatever illness may be having in their bodies right now, Lord, we pray for healing right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Look Lord. down upon Ebenezer, Lord, and bless your church. This is your church, Lord, that you established, oh, yes. Heavenly Father. You said, upon this rock I build my church, and the fire gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Yes. Bless the church, Lord, in the name of Jesus. My Lord. We thank you now, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. For just who you are. Yes, sir. We just thank you now, Lord. Yes, sir. We thank you now, Lord. We just thank you now, Lord. Thank you. Because you are the great one. Thank you. Lord. We thank you because you are an awesome God. And we just thank you, Heavenly Father, how you continue to just open doors for us. Oh, yes. Heavenly Father, we pray, Lord, for everyone, Heavenly Father, that's on our sick and shut in list. Bless them in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know what they stand in need of, Lord. We don't know. We ask a blessing upon our family members, Lord. Those that are saved and unsaved, Heavenly Father. Look down upon them in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And now, bless them, the Father. We just thank you now for the you. young children that have graduated in 2023. Oh, we yes. thank you, Lord, for how you brought them through 12 years of high school. And now, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you be with them as they're preparing. Some are preparing to go to college. Yes, some are preparing to go to service. Whatever their preparations are, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Be with them. Watch over them, Heavenly Father, and bless them. Keep them in the name of Jesus. Yes, we pray this morning for the absent part of this church, oh, Heavenly Father. Have bless them, oh, Heavenly Father, wherever they may be, whatever they're going through. Those that are traveling, Lord, we ask travel and mercy upon him, Lord. Take him, Lord, through seeing and unseen yes, danger. Lord. And we just thank you, Heavenly Father, because we had 10,000 times. We could not thank you enough. You're such a mighty God. You're such a oh, great yes. God. And Lord, just keep us covered, Lord, out of your wings of protection. You keep us covered, Lord, out of your wings of protection. Lord, you just keep us. And we're just thankful, Lord. Yes, we thank you for your many, many thank blessings you, that you continue to store down upon us. Yes, Whether we thank you or not, Lord, thank you still you. continue to bless and keep us. And for this, we are so grateful. We say thank you this morning, Lord. Thank you. We magnify your name this morning, Lord. We exalt your name this morning, Lord. Yes, we sir. give you the highest praise this morning we can give you, which is hallelujah. Lord, we just thank you now for this day. Heavenly Father, continue to look down upon Pastor Ham, Lord. Continue to bless him, O Heavenly Father. Brand continue Lord. to preach and teach your word, Lord. Continue to send healing to his body right now in the name of Jesus. Look down yes. upon our first lady, Lord, who walks by his side, O Heavenly yes. Father. Who continue to be with him every step of the way. Continue to bless and keep her, O Heavenly Father. Thank you.
you, Heavenly Father, for her being the woman of God that she is, how she has simplified life, oh, Heavenly Father, that we might see Jesus in her. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for thank every you. ministry of this, the Ebenezer Baptist Church. We pray, Lord, you continue to bless and keep us in the name of Jesus. But most of all, we thank you for your son, Jesus, that you yes. sent and bled a, a cruel death on the cross, that we might have a right to true life. But Heavenly Father, the story did end when they put him in the grave because he got up. On the third oh, yeah. day, with all power in his hands. And for this, we are so grateful. Yes. And we thank you this morning. We give the highest praise this morning, which we can give you, which is hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. This is my prayer. This is my prayer, Lord. This is my prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. certainly thank Dr. Brown for that fervent prayer. Amen. Amen. More things are brought by prayer than this world dreams of. But time is at Ebenezer. It's giving time. Amen. Welcome back. I truly hope that you were blessed and you were encouraged by that message from our pastor. And if you were blessed and encouraged, we just simply ask that you just leave us a comment. Let us know how the word of God has impacted your life. If you've never accepted Christ as your personal savior and you would like to do so, say this quick prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you confessing that I am a sinner. I know that I'm in need of salvation and you're the only one who can save me. I believe that you went to the cross and you died for my sins. And I'm accepting your invitation. Please come into my heart and save me. Ladies and gentlemen, if you said that prayer sincerely, then the Bible lets us know that you're saved. For Acts 16.31 says, And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved and thy house. The next step is you want to go ahead and get connected to a Bible believing and Bible preaching church so that you can grow in your faith. We invite you to stay connected with us. You can find us on social media at Facebook at EBC Wilmington. And why don't you go ahead and click that follow button. We're also on YouTube at Ebenezer Baptist Church of Wilmington, Delaware. And we invite you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification button so that you're notified each time we upload new content. And you can also find us by hashtag EBC Wilmington. If you're ever in the area, we invite you to stop by and worship with us. We're at 2200 North Claymine Street here in Wilmington, Delaware. And we've taken every precaution to make sure that your worship experience is a safe experience. So on behalf of Pastor Ham, official staff, family and friends of Ebenezer Baptist Church, we say thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in with us and to uh, share with us. And we pray that this ministry is being a blessing to you and your family. And if so, we invite you to share this message and share this channel with your family and friends. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and more importantly, God bless.